Hello folks, welcome to the Urban Rider Studio. We are talking motorcycle security today. If you have a bike, I am sure it's at the forefront of your mind, especially if you live in a city like I do, especially if you've had a bike stolen like I have. It is something I take very seriously as a result. So I have in front of me a new lock for us. This is a D-lock from the company Hiplock and it is the D1000, coming in at 250 pounds as of the making of this video, a price I would be very willing to pay considering how strong, how tough and durable this is. It is the first U-Lock to achieve a sold secure diamond standard, which includes an angle grinder attack, which is one of the most common ways they will try and cut your lock to steal your bike. Now, because I trust their testing methods, I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to cut this. I'm vastly underqualified. And actually, I'm going to recommend another resource if you want to see how tough your security devices are, and that's Bennett's. John over at Bike Social has put lots of these things through their paces. We are not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. It's just something I know I've used in the past. I do value their resources. With that out of the way, let me explain some of the practicalities of using this and some of the reasons that I like it as much as I do. Let's start with the materials they've used. There's a few different materials going on here. But as you will see, first off at least, you have a silicon sleeve around the shackle itself. That makes it kinder to your paintwork. You don't want this thing scratching your bike and actually makes it quite a nice thing to hold in general. Within that, they've used what's called Ferrosafe, which is a graphene composite and is the majority of the reason this is so hard to cut with an angle grinder. And you will need to change angle grinder discs if you're cutting it. You will need a lot of battery life as well because it really does stand up for a long while. Like I say, this is the first U-Lock to achieve that diamond standard. The other standards by Soul to Cure don't include an angle grinder attack. The lock body has a plastic case around it. You have all metal parts inside that. You have locking tabs on both sides of the shackle, meaning that in theory, you need to cut through it multiple times to actually get this thing off. It has this square shape to make it harder to rotate, so you shouldn't be able to just cut through it once and obviously rotate one of the arms. You will see testing of this lock using brute force methods, and it is extremely resistant to those methods which are arguably less commonly used by bike thieves anyway. Those methods are things like bolt cutters, cable cutters, hammers. They are far more cumbersome to bring with you and they draw a lot of attention. Lastly, there's a silicon tab to cover the actual lock itself to stop the ingress of dirt and water. And you will get three keys included. These have a code on them. It is recommended to register these because it is so hard to cut. Last thing you wanna do is lose one of these keys. It would make it very difficult to get off your bike. So if you register those keys, you can get replacements if you need. Opening up, you can see how chunky this is. Like I've previously mentioned, you can see the shape of it as well, making it harder to rotate. It is still lightweight in comparison to other D-locks. It comes in just shy of two kilograms. I think it's 1.9 kilograms technically. And as you can see, it is fairly chunky. You've got 20 mil diameter on the shackle itself. And then the gap in the center there is 155 mil by 92 mil. All of these stats, all of these measurements, we will have on our webpage. Check it out using the link if you need to and double check that size. Depends how you wanna use this. I would recommend, it's always recommended really, coupling a few different devices together, such as a big chunky chain. Obviously just make sure you have the room to actually fit this through the loops. What I've found most effective if you just want to carry this by itself for convenience is attaching it to the front wheel. That will depend somewhat on your bike. The ideal application is if you have cast wheels, you can actually put this through the cast wheel spokes. They are much less likely to cut those. If your bike has spoke wheels though, I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting this through those thinner spokes because obviously a bike thief is going to go to the quickest and easiest thing to cut. And if they can't get through this, they might well go through those. Having said that though, if your bike's front wheel has a small enough diameter, you might be able to wrap this around the rim itself. The size guide on our website will help you determine that. I love seeing the innovations that Hiplock are making in this field and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. Actually, where that's concerned, I know for a fact we're getting a carry case for this at some point that'll make it a lot easier to transport. And I believe they're making a chain as well, but we will let you know as soon as we get these things in. Have a look for the links in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. Let us know what you think of this in the comment section. Let us know what you're using to secure your bike. And I'll see you soon for more of the world's finest riding gear. Bye-bye.